What's up guys? Today is work on ambulance today. I basically took the day off to work on this thing. <coughs> I've got about two weeks I think it is. Maybe three. Two and a half. Um, till rendezvous in the Ozarks. So I'm trying to get this thing ready. Um, I think it's just going to be me going this year as far as in my family. Uh, my wife is fixing to have a baby come mid-December. So I don't think she'll be going. I think she's going to stay home with the little one. Uh, stepson, he might go with me. I'm not real sure. But anyway, trying to get this thing ready for going. Yesterday, I mounted uh, my Wii Boost antenna over here on the side. I just used some uh, quarter by 20 nut certs and stuck them right there in the side. And I went to the local hardware store and got this grommet uh, to essentially make it weather tight, water tight. Um, this way everything's still removable. A lot of the time in the past I've been bad about using windshield urethane on running wires through bodies just because I'm a glass guy and I'm kind of lazy sometimes and don't really feel like going and getting grommets. So I've been working on tearing um, part of the inside cabinets out. This darn traffic behind this horrible. So I think I've got this tore out about as far as I'm going to tear it out. I'm going to leave that upper cabinet. And I was wanting a little bit of storage for what will be up above the bed. So those little cabinets there will stay. The bad part is it's not a very deep cabinet. And then of course you still have the big cabinet up front. Um, mainly what that's for is housing all the factory electronics and then of course I have the, the factory heating and air unit so I have cut out a big portion of that wall um, cut it right up against this cabinet and then right up against a channel that runs down for the heating and air unit and I braced it up with some angle iron and some one by one a square tube just that way that it's good and solid got my refrigerator set in it's mounted down using some eye bolts down here at the bottom and just a aluminum turnbuckle to where that it's good and solid hopefully i don't ever run off the road but should i do it's good and solidly mounted And then the Wii Boost, I just ran the cable through all this mess. And the access cable, it's just tied up and up in there. Then I mounted the receiver. This is it here. I still got to run power to it along with power to my fridge. That's all going to come off my lithium battery. And then the internal antenna, I just mounted under there. And uh, demolition is rough. Especially when I can't fully stand up in here. You can see all these little staples across there, nails. I'll have to go through and pile them off. I kind of wish I'd left the original box around the wheel well but it was way up here and so basically lost would have lost a foot of space above the wheel well all this is going to be under the bed anyway um, i'm going to put a uh, a queen size stationary bed back here in the back and then up here in the front so it'll be a queen size bed all the way in the back and then up here in the front, there'll be a bench that'll run crossways, run across here, and the top of the bench will lay down, and then it'll go from being a queen size to a California king, uh, just a little bit bigger than a California king. 
It'll be, I think, 76 inches wide, however wide this ambulance is. Um, it'll be the width of the ambulance, and it'll be 84 inches long. So hopefully we'll be able to sleep, all five of us, on that great huge big bed. If not, I'll end up crashing up here in the, in the front, one of the front seats. Um, when all of us are going, my stepson, he's fixing turn 12, so he'll be going with this for a few more years uh, before he's off to college or his own adventures. Uh, the little two, they don't take up much room. Two year old and then fixing to be a newborn. Um, I'm going to end up putting a sink up here. I did go get from one of my buddies another window just like this one that I'm going to mount in this other door on the other side and then I'll take out part of the cabinet so I'll, I'll end up taking this out I think I'm going to end up taking all these emergency lights off I'll be putting a window in here I was going to leave the emergency lights on it just for craps and giggles once that doesn't work but I don't need to. So I'll end up taking out that wall there or part of it and then it'll just be up against the door and then that little step out there I'll end up taking part of that out just that way that they'll be able to see when they're sitting right here they'll be able to see out this side behind me and then they'll be able to see out that side. There's one thing I didn't like about my van that I had is that should there be any amazing views they wasn't able to see them in the van the only way they could see out was out through the windshield and well that kind of sucks um anyway that's kind of it for demolition right at the moment i'm gonna end up tearing this side out i don't know if i'm gonna do that or not today i may end up trying to frame some of this back up on this side before I tear this side out. I kind of want to leave this side intact for a little bit just to where that I can haul more than one other person. But I may end up getting ambitious and tearing it out today too. And then I'll be ready just for full construction. Uh, let's see, this weekend, any of the locals, there's cars and coffee up at uh, Heights or whatever they call it, the motel up by the fairgrounds. Um, plan on being up there tomorrow. And then uh, October 1st, which will be next weekend, is uh, Riggs and Coffee at Artemis Overland up in Springfield, Missouri. Uh, they said it's going to be their last um, Riggs and Coffee at that location. They're on Traffic Way, I think it is. I, I can't remember what street it is. Um, but anyway, it's going to be the last Riggs and Coffee there. They're moving locations. So they did say that they're going to have um, giveaways and most everything in the store, I believe, is on sale. Uh, trying to get rid of some inventory before they're moved. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? I guess that's about it right now. Other than rendezvous coming up October. 13th through the 16th. Uh, hopefully we'll see some of you guys down there. And I guess until next time you guys have a good one. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, one of the next things I'm going to be doing is uh, working on the house battery system. We're hooking up the Wii Boost. Uh, hooking up my fridge. Get some power outlets in here for uh, running different things, charging phones. For the rendezvous, I hope to have a coffee pot mounted in here. Could, could do it uh, old school, over a stove, but I kinda like to have a coffee pot. Just a lot faster. But anyways, until next time, you guys have a good one.